channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Elvis with his collar this morning. Fanned out and looking. This, What's the matter with you? This it's. I'm not adjusted. My shirt's not. It's not. The collar's not oh, laying right. You got problems. You don't understand, man. You this got problems. Tough. I get it. See what? <clears throat> when I wear one of my white dress shirts, it always looks good. I wear this damn gray one. It wear kiss shirts. Oh look, you'll feel yeah. better. I know what uh, I'm talking about. <sighs> okay. I forget. I just, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Are you settled? Are you? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm Are you good. sure? What's that? Uh, this well, this was Smart Water. Yeah. See, you can see Smart Water. Yeah. But uh, I drank all of it. So now it's and dumb then water. I filled it up. You know, now, now it's now it's a drinking fountain water because I refilled oh, okay. it with drinking fountain water. But you're going around falsely mm. advertising that you're drinking Smart Water. No, because I was drinking smart water. It's now current. What compels you guess, to buy smart yes. water? What makes that water smarter than any other water? I don't know. I just it's a I, chemical I, combination of, all, of hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, well, this isn't hydrogen water, though. This isn't. Oh no! I've, I've heard good things about hydrogen water, though. I've started. Have you? I've, uh, yeah. Because all water is uh, hydrogen water. But specifically, it's like I don't know. Hydrogen, it like specific. I don't know. You've heard good things about hydrogen. Well, I'm glad. I, mean, I heard good things about specifically hydrogen water. Oh, okay. I, more, I didn't yeah. know any other water was out there. I, 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 I always thought it was H two O. Two O, yes. Hydrogen it two is. oxygen. But you know? the the hydrogen infused, it's got like maybe extra extra H in it. I'm oh. not sure all the. I, I would mean, spend hey, more money Mr., on that. You're Mr. You. Chemist. Well, the, I, I, the, I know that. You're Mr. Chemist from yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. As, We're going to go you, back to yesterday here in a second, too. Okay, that's fine. I am I live in the past most of the time anyway, so right. the recent past is okay, too. Well, let, let's rewind to yesterday, because I got to thinking a little bit yesterday about your... And, and, you know, you're right in asking for people to ask questions about news stories. Mm-hmm. Right? And we were talking about... Um, hey, Epstein. We were, we were talking about Epstein and we were talking about accountability and we were talking about Mm -hmm. the super elite and you know all this stuff after we got done I started thinking about the reality of life on planet earth Mm -hmm. and I think that there is still a leftover feeling of idiocy in in all of us um and I, you, you were trying to blame the media for doing what you don't, for what not you haven't want job. them, not doing their job. All right. Right. Now, on the other side of the because coin, it was not too long ago that the entire, well, I shouldn't say the entire, but the country was caught up in the idea to the point that people actually bought in and took action on the idea of a pizza place with a basement full of kids that were all standing around waiting to be butchered so the elite could drink their blood at the height of fear when they could get extra mojo power out of that. And people believed that to the point where they got in a car, Mm -hmm. drove from the South up to DC, armed and ready to kill, only to get into the pizza restaurant to find there was no even got a damn door to get onto the basement to find kids. So that was a, go ahead. This is the level of bullshit that's been put into social media. And you were quick to blame the regular media for not jumping all over the idea that people like Itzhak Perlman, John Glenn, and George Mitchell, who went down to probably talk to this son of a bitch, um, Epstein, about money, because a lot of people talk to this guy about money, right? Because that's what he did. He was a financier. And he made himself look good by handing out money. So you want to you want to lump all these people in with a few creeps that went down there and actually did what Epstein does. And there's a few people on that list that you're going to have to look at really suspect because they've got proven records of bad behavior. But to lump everybody else in on that list and then start making wild accusations like Stephen Hawking is on a jet down to the islands to get banged by kids it's just ridiculous and to to get back into that pattern of fear-mongering and panic attacks over people that have 
justifiably maybe tried to do business with him or anybody else and lump them all into this paranoia that we went through a couple few years ago, that's that's backwoods tin weasel idiocy. It really is. And it shows an amazing amount of people still have their social media tended by things that they don't understand. It really does. And I'm not defending anybody that's guilty. I'd be the first in line to shoot them right in the head. I really would. But the fact of the matter is, is that we can't get back to this level of ridiculous paranoia that we had a few years ago because that's not life. And that's where the erosion in faith and media came from, if you ask me. Truth. Okay. A lot, lot to unpack there. First of all, I didn't accuse anybody of anything. I didn't accuse anybody. Nope. You didn't. What I said was the media didn't do their job just asking the question. And again, a lot of people are on that list. I'm not saying everybody on that list should be, you, you should be suspicious of all. I'm not saying that. You seem to imply that, oh, this person couldn't have done it. This per, this is not the type, like, you know what's in the heart of a pedophile. You don't know. And I understood, again, Jimmy Kimmel being pissed off at Aaron Rodgers. When Aaron Rodgers didn't say Jimmy Kimmel did anything, he said Jimmy Kimmel might be nervous about the list coming out because if your name's associated with it, yep, it's it like you pointed out, lights out. Holy cow, it's lights out. My point was the media, the traditional news media, which again, all the shit they're getting now, they one hundred percent deserve. They deserve because it's all narrative driven. Depending on what you're watching, who you're, t- they're narrow casting for a specific audience. They are. That's just what they do. And there's a lot of powerful people who may have been involved in this thing. Yep. Ghislaine Maxwell is serving 20 years in prison for sex trafficking to who? Nobody's been brought up on charges. Nobody. Right. How is that my- even? possible after four years here's after here's my question wait, just, you wait I, right. hang on a second i'm not right. done with this all right i'm not done with this you don't know and i don't know who on that plane is guilty okay neither one of us does but the idea again that jeffrey epstein's it's like everybody's going to take a ride on that plane there are other private planes these are millionaires and billionaires and again the movers and shakers in the entertainment industry and politics and business across the world. Okay. To not at least be as a journalist to be the least bit inquisitive or suspicious. You don't have to point fingers at anybody. You don't have to say, well, what about this guy? Or what about this guy? Or what about that guy? Why were they? You just have to say, okay, Ghislaine Maxwell's in prison for 20 years for trafficking kids to who, right? Why don't we know any of this? They're not interested in part because, and I'm just, again, this is speculation. This is where you get into the speculation game. Okay, you're, a, you're, you're in New York, you're in Los Angeles, you're a six-figure reporter. You're going to keep that job. You want to keep that job. Your first, your first priority is to your family and to yourself, okay? And then your audience, whatever. The other thing was the independent private doctor who said Jeffrey Epstein wounds look like strangulation. Now you and I, I thought this was a layup. I thought we'd get into this and we, we've always been kind of on the same page. With, I'm on the, the same Epstein page, stuff. but what with, with the crimes, we are totally on the same page with the crimes. Do you think he killed what we're not on the not? same page is what we're not on the same page with is the immediate action of Oh my God, this list and everybody that's on it. Oh, are we going to be suspect? We can't lump them all in together like that. I'm not and saying I'll t- and you should, but and I'll tell you why. You're I'm, saying I'm Stephen Hawking. Oh, this couldn't happen. This couldn't happen. Why couldn't it? Okay. Well, why couldn't? If it? you want, if you want to live your life suspecting everybody and everything of of I the don't. possibility of, then go ahead. I don't. I, okay. My point is, you can't just slam the door. Oh, this person couldn't have done. We can. I can look at this. I know what a pedophile is. Bullshit. Because you don't. None of us okay. do. 
But if you're on that plane, why are you on that plane? A, I want to probably, know why. Probably because B, they want to okay, again, get, get that's money. That's speculation. Okay, what you're doing right now, that's speculation. We're yep. both speculating as to why. But why, why would you on. automatically speculate to the worst case scenario right off the bat? I didn't speculate to the worst case scenario. That's not what I did. All I said was, why aren't these questions being asked of who Ghislaine Maxwell was trafficking kids to after four years of this shit? No, no charges. Okay. None. Zero. Even Prince Andrew, who that's been the big, okay. We're, and, and you like, you could understand that, but you couldn't understand these. And again, some of these people, if, if you're on, if you, if you took one trip, maybe two, okay. Some of these people are on dozens of times, some 50, 60 times, some very prominent people. Yeah. And there's a reason we don't know. Okay. There's a reason we don't know. And again, you get into the Pizzagate stuff, that was debunked forever ago. It was a QAnon conspiracy. It was, it was a- it, that's, it, it But was, that's what I'm getting at. It was at. done on purpose, but this is the not level that. Of, the level this is of ridiculous, and it, there's more coming. It's gonna happen again mm -hmm. soon. And the again. idea of people, buying into the, the hysteria over really stupid stuff. You gotta come to a screeching halt, man. How do you know it's stupid? But here's the thing is, I don't put it past anybody. There is no, there is no, nothing that's been tossed out there. I, I may raise an eyebrow. I may be a little bit surprised. Not, none of this stuff shocks me. None of it does. None of it. True or not. A none basement of it full shocks of kids me, no. In a pizza parlor dude, wouldn't you shock know, me. No, dude. We don't want to believe that, again, the reason that that a lot of people believed that hoax and it was a hoax, the reason people believed it is because it's possible. It doesn't mean it happened. It doesn't mean it happened. And you're right, character, I don't, I don't believe in ass assassinating anybody's character. And I believe in the presumption of innocence, which we're starting to lose that now too. Mm -hmm. Presuming people are innocent before before you know you round them up but we don't do that when somebody's accused of something you start raising an eyebrow and most of us kind of go oh he probably did it should we do that no we shouldn't yeah. is that kind of human nature yeah but we have a justice system i mean sometimes it moves slow this has been really really slow and again i'm of the belief that we're not going to find out okay and and this is a bigger issue this trafficking thing is a oh. much bigger issue, and there's a reason it's not really talked about that much. I, there's a hey, reason. I, I understand but trafficking again, much more than most. I, I, I did not, I did not want to believe a lot of this stuff. I didn't want to believe that it was even possible. Okay. But when I, when I've heard personal stories, deeply personal, you and I both have. Oh and yeah. I. It would be easier to say, oh, that's crazy. This person couldn't have done it. That person couldn't have done it. You don't know. Okay. And I'm not for, again, I'm not for uh, naming names and we don't know, but, but I'm for investigating. Why were you there? What were you doing? Okay. We, 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 this all checks out. Fine. We move on to the next person. Why were you there? Why were you on the plane? What was your business? What were you doing? Okay. At least do that. Okay. And you've got, uh, and, and CBS made mention of this, uh, by the way, uh, we've got a crack staff. We're really looking into this. Crickets. Crickets. You, 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 it's a way to cover a story without really covering it. You just mention the name Epstein, or you mention Ghislaine Maxwell, or you just mention we're looking into this, and then you don't do anything because there are going to be people. Uh, and who knows? Maybe everybody's innocent. Maybe this is a complete, maybe this is Pizzagate. I doubt it. But Seriously doubt it seriously doubt not okay. even doubt it none of us believe it but i asked you a question and you and i both been on the epstein we we said this when he was in prison he wasn't going to make it out no we knew that and then he hung himself but you were like well it could be uh could, could. Now, if, let me ask you this did. and I, let me ask you this if you were epstein i doubt it and you knew what was to come <laughs> after everything that you've been through and the life you led and the people you built out of money and the kids you ruined and everything else you were sitting in jail awaiting trial. Wouldn't you kill yourself if you got Why would moment? you assume he has a conscience? Why Selfish people, yeah, no. Hey, look, I, I, I'm Epstein. Okay, look, I did dude, all this stuff. Uh, I got really? away with it as long as I could. This is not where Let me you finish. were, dude. Let me Go finish. Ahead. I'm Epstein. Go I got ahead. away with all this stuff as long as I could. Mm. I don't want to face the music. I'm done. Mm -hmm. 
That's what a person without a conscience does because they're not going to stick around and face the music. Not, no. Any number of people can commit suicide. I would buy it if the cameras weren't off. Okay. I would buy it if uh, if an independent doctor said that looks has said that looks like strangulation and not a hanging, and there okay. is a difference. All right. And and again, I brought up the fact, and I'm again, I'm not accusing the medical examiner. What I am saying is that's a politically appointed position. Mm-hmm. Could you be? Could some weight be brought to bear on this individual to push it in a certain way? So you know what we want to just we want to close the book on this. Is that possible too? One hundred percent, it's possible. Okay. I don't know if it's likely again, but you. This is a, this is why I thought this was a layup agreement, easy story to do. Yeah, and then we were gonna. I did not think we would go on and on. I sure as shit didn't think we'd have two days of this. Well, let me tell you something. But it was I'm, shocking I'm, to I'm, me. It I'm, was, I'm, but I'm not here to ahead. excuse anybody's behavior. I'm here to simply point out the fact that this conspiracy-driven hype is coming back. And we're going to see another but round of it. this isn't hype. Listen, listen to me. We don't know that this is hype. Okay. Listen to me. We, okay. Another round of this kind of nonsense is going to be hitting us all hard over the next year. What people believe is what they read quickly and, and fastly. That's why Jimmy Kimmel stepped up and said something like he did as loud as he did and i applaud jimmy kimmel for pushing back because the credibility of all of us is at stake here if jimmy kimmel being accused of being on that plane was not addressed it can float and grow right yeah Okay, so Jimmy but I don't know if he was on the plane says, or not. I don't know. Well, there's his name's not on the list, is it? Well, we don't know. Well, the whole list hasn't come out yet. Again, we uh, these a lot of questions haven't been. Again, I'm okay, not assuming right, he did enough. anything. You get all I'm saying but, is stop buying bullshit. If you see something like s- this, okay, now we may have a problem. Let's look into it. And I don't think okay. the investigation's over. Why? Nobody's talking about. Either. Nobody's talked yet. Why not? But you do you? Yeah, do you don't. I don't think it's going to end up going anywhere because okay. I, I think the powers that be won't allow it. And you want to dismiss that. I, I think you seem I to think want to dismiss that. The powers that be. What? Who are they? The secret cabal. Okay. There. See, this is, is that what, what you're afraid me. of. I'm not a uh, uh, secret cabal. Look, what are, do you think? What? How, who are the hidden again, powers that be? Dude. There are a lot of people in powerful positions yep. who are probably involved in this. And it's not going to get out. Now, We're again, I'm involved. open to this. I'm open to this not being true. It would be okay. much easier for me if it wasn't. Okay. But the more you talk to people who have who have dealt with this, and I still haven't seen that Sound of Freedom movie. I don't. I I don't know if I have the stomach for it. It was based on some truth. It's based on it. Okay, yeah. and it wasn't talked about. It was a movie that wasn't talked about, and that was puzzling. We were we had Barbie shoved down our throat, okay, and not that that wasn't a fine movie and a good movie to go great, but this other thing was kind of just ignored. Why is that? I, again, again, this isn't a cons- this is just I'm asking a question. I'm not even saying it's true. What I'm saying is questions need to be asked and you want to, you want to kind of absolve the media from doing their job, do the their job. The reason, the reason the media is losing credit credibility is because they are becoming less and less credible. Mm. Okay. That's the problem. Okay. Okay. And that's why we have a bunch of other, and, and it's at the end of the day, it's going to be good for everybody. It will make the, the traditional news media, media be better. Uh, the, the ones that are not credible will eventually fall by the wayside mm-hmm. and, other other entities like this will pop up. We can actually have a conversation. You couldn't yes, have a conversation can. like this. You couldn't have a conversation like this on a network program. You couldn't. It would have been interrupted by commercials four or five times. I know. So here we go. And to be continued, we shall okay. see how it unfolds. Moving on, finally, McDonald's bringing back the double Big Mac, the fast food behemoth, briefly sold the sandwich. Uh, back in March of 2020, the double has four beef patties instead Ooh. of two, 740 calories, 48 grams of carbs, 1,020 milligrams of sodium. It'll be sold for a limited time or until a bunch of people stroke out. So 
Get your get your double Big Mac while you can. Finally, Ball near ranger. Blizzard, near Blizzard conditions expected across the state this coming weekend. 14 inches of snow along with 40 mile per hour winds, zero wind chills, could make for atrocious travel conditions. Winter storm watch in place through Saturday. I feel like I'm stepping on the weather kid's toes. But oh boy, that's, that's just a preview. Just a preview. Yeah. He he'll get into the nitty and the gritty and the nuts and the bolts. And oh, you whatnot. couldn't think Anyways, of nitty gritty the other day, could you? Again, that's because that's because uh, the the fix was in on the uh, on the uh, Jeopardy quest. Of course, it was. Uh, Nick Nick Saban Allegedly. calling it a career at Alabama. Saban the powers that be might have put the fix in. Okay, yeah, because not, there's nothing to see here. <laughs> nothing to see here. Look the other way. Close the book on that. That's sports. <clears throat> I didn't feel much news in there today. Um, There's a lot of news in there. Do better on you did two stories, and one sports. Well, story. I, oh, oh, well, oh, oh, we yeah, I did sports, and I did. Oh, you know what? I forgot to really quickly. Inflation. This was going to be the top story. Yeah. Uh, but we revisited the top story from yesterday. Inflation rose again to end 2023. Economists expect prices to have risen 3.2 percent in December compared to a year ago. Fed still expected to cut interest rates though later this year. That's going to help out those who have credit card debt and mortgages and. All that good stuff. This one fixed. Go. Oh, you got your smart glasses on. I can't. I couldn't <laughs> read it. It's hard. Um. So today, this one here is. Uh, this one's applicable to what's going on here at the house today, and I'll tell oh, you cool. why what's after that? I read the question. It's four hundred dollars for food fights back. The tyramine in fermented products like aged cheese or beer may cause these headaches derived from the word hemicrania. <sighs> I'm going to guess that would be migraine. We're going to give you 400 for the migraines. Congratulations. Boom. And how does that fit into what's going on here today? Well, I'm going to tell you. 49,800 in the hole. And um, Cindy's currently out in the kitchen right now preparing some sauerkraut, which is a fermented oh, food, okay. which would cause Very me good. to rocket to the moon if I ate it. <laughs> and, you know, that trail of diarrhea between here and uh, the, the lunar surface would be disgusting. All right, you go work on your collar and I'm gonna work on my collar. And you do that. And tomorrow I may have tomorrow. a uh, another show and tell for you. Oh sweet. All Can't right. wait. Back to the sweet. uh sticks with you. All right, we'll see you later. Back Muskegon, our winter weather pattern will continue over the next several days. So let's take a look at your forecast brought to you by Trendy Health. Your weather headlines show we will have another inch of snow associated with the system that impacted us on Tuesday throughout Wednesday morning. But it'll probably be ending by mid-morning hours. And then another weak clipper system will move through Wednesday night going into Thursday, which would bring another one to two inches of snow across West Michigan. And then another impactful snow is looking more likely for Friday into Saturday. So here's what the future radar will look like. This is 4 a.m. As that storm system leaves the region, we'll be seeing some light snow showers on the backside of it. But like I said, it will likely be done by the mid-morning hours, likely bringing us around an inch of snow or a little bit less. And then fast forward to Thursday at 4 a.m. This is another system moving through. This is a weak clipper system moving in from Canada. And like I said, we'll probably have one to maybe two inches of snow with this system across West Michigan, another widespread snow event. So for your Wednesday, expect a high of 34 with snow showers, especially in the morning hours, and then cloudy skies the rest of the day. And then another system, like I said, will move in Wednesday night into Thursday morning with a low of 28. But then an even more impactful storm system with maybe several inches of snow looks more likely as we get into Friday and Saturday. So that one would have lots of impacts across the lower peninsula of Michigan as widespread snow is expected then. And then behind that system, colder air will move in with temperatures only in the teens for Monday and Tuesday of next week with likely some lake effect snow. And that is your Wednesday forecast brought to you by Trinity Health on the Muskegon Channel. And I'm Cole Woods Weather and enjoy your day today.